So I, I'm just constantly thinking in my head how exactly I'm gonna beat the Chinese Empire. The only way I can see that I can really somehow emerge victorious is if I essentially let her declare war on me and I just <laughs> grind her units down. Because I'm sure if I can get enough cannons placed strategically in my cities, then... You can, you can stave off any kind of invasion, because in this version of Sim, or Civ, not Sims, but... The defense is you know, greatly favored over the offense. Just acting on the defensive gives you so much more strategic power. Another reason why I kind of straight stayed off in playing this game for a little bit is because I was hoping that some updates would come out, increasing performance and this and that. And I, you know, a, a couple have. Oh my God! I forgot that I was totally. Katun is established at Chichen Itza. The settlement of the Itza shall take place there. The Katzal shall come, the Green Bird shall come, Akantanel shall come. It is the word of God. The Itza shall come. Okay. I had totally forgotten that I was building one of those. being built in Belgrade. There it is! See it? See it? Alright, so Alexander only has two more cities directly bordering me. And he does have one, for some reason, in northern Scandinavia. So, go figure that. other kinds of buildings to help me increase my happiness and my wealth. Okay, I got a settler here. Does he want me to build a city up here? Whatever, do that. to arrive before I attack. Man, I really wish I'd, I'd started this game having a little bit more experience with, uh, with it. Because I've been playing this game a lot in my free time. 
I learned a lot about how it works. And, well, when, when this Let's Play is done, I'll start over. And make sure I start off the right way. some workers around here. I need uh, some of these cities that are kind of in the outskirts to be. Uh, assimilated. I want you to go get that worker. In fact, I'm going to get you to start, go over here and start building some roads. Dude, I'm, okay. I'm really not going to declare peace with you, okay? I mean, I, I've got you on the ropes. Compound interest is the most powerful. Yeah, thanks, Einstein. God, what a bunch of crappy places for Alexander to put his cities. He's got one, like, in the middle of a mountain. <laughs> With, like, two resources surrounding it. to uh, the story that someone posted on my Facebook because I get all kinds of weird stories and videos posted on my Facebook. By the way, if you want to add me to Facebook, um, I'm not sure if I have the information in every single one of these videos. 
but I, I should. Anyway, um, if you want to add me on Facebook, uh, the information is readily available. And uh, if you can't figure it out, just message me personally. But I gotta... Someone posted a story about how apparently all of Glenn Beck's advertisers are pulling away from his show. And um, if you guys don't know who Glenn Beck is, he is uh, a whack job who is some kind of news commentator on uh, on Fox News who generally just makes massive generalizations and for the most part has absolutely zero idea what he's talking about. But uh, even the most conservative of conservatives are beginning to realize that, hey, this guy actually has no idea what he's talking about, and he is completely, completely full of it. So a lot of advertisers are pulling away from him. And for me, that's a very good thing, because hopefully, hopefully, soon, he is... He won't have a, he won't be making enough money to warrant his show existing anymore, and then I won't have to think about him anymore. That I can just forget that he ever existed, and I'll fade off into obscurity, and I won't ever have to talk about him again. I won't have to speak his name again. I won't have to think about him again, and again, and my life will be significantly better. Like, the guy just says things that are just, they're, they're just plain wrong. Like, you can't describe them in other terms besides them just being wrong.